Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're doing great. I miss you all so much. I have an olive on top of my sandwich shirt from New York. Man, New York, I gotta pray for them, man. We gotta pray for this whole world. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? It really is crazy. I've never thought anything would ever happen like this. Um, but I know God is still in control and I place my faith in him and that it's all gonna work out okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to create a comedy cartoon using Scratch. We're gonna code it. And I wanna show you kind of how you could do some parts of that. And let me just share my screen here and take a look at the assignment. It says in this assignment, you'll be creating your own comedy cartoon using Scratch. You will need a Scratch account, okay? It's free. Um, if you do not have one, then you can set one up. And so um, basically we need to have a title for our cartoon. So it could be the stay at home student. Um, it says here that we want to create a comedy cartoon that, where does it say it at? Uh, your mission is to create a comedy cartoon. Where's the one at? One that'll make me laugh, use cartoon. Uh, tell a story right here. Tell a story that relates to your schooling from home and be a comedy. So we just had our dog get up to get the cat treats and got his foot stuck in the grill and was hanging from his leg. Not very funny at the moment, but it is kind of getting to be the point where it's funny. Um, he's okay. Totally fine, but he was hanging by his nails. It was crazy. Anyway, um, I could make a cartoon about that, but let's go to the link here. And it's going to take us to scratch. Do, do, do. It's going to take us to scratch. Do, do, do. Okay. And right here it says code a cartoon. So I'm going to click on code a cartoon. And it's going to give me a tutorial on how to make a cartoon. And it's loading the project and it's loading sounds. There we go. All right. So we can watch this tutorial. We just click play. And it shows how to bring characters to life, make them jump, make them talk. Okay. All right. And then you can click through these arrows and it'll show you kind of what they're going to walk you through, how to say hello, um, how to play a sound. So real quick, let me just kind of close this out. I want you to watch that, but let me just kind of close it out. Over here are the sprites. So these are the characters. You have Jessica and JP. So let's just look at Jessica. Now, Jessica, we can move around this screen, but we can start her right here. Over here are the actions for Jessica. So if we want her to move 10 steps, we could just drag this up. So I'm coding Jessica. So if I click on JP, that code has gone away. Really important to remember what sprite you're on. And so I'm on Jessica right now. I can kind of see Jessica up here. When I click on JP, I can see JP up here. So that's pretty helpful to see that. So um, in my assignment, I said I wanted everything to move with the green flag. This is the green flag. So when you click the green flag, something's gonna happen. So when I click the green flag, I want Jessica to move. So now I need to go down to events and say, hey, when the green flag is checked, I want her to move 10 steps, okay? When something happens, something else is gonna happen. So when I click on this green flag, she moved 10 steps. Not very far, was it? So I could adjust this and say, all right, 25 steps. And now every time I click the green flag, she's gonna do what I tell her to do. Now you notice she's moved over in our screen, so I'm gonna move her back. All right, now um, I'm gonna have her move over to JP and say hello. So let's go to looks, say hello for two seconds. All right, so now when I click the flag, she's gonna move and she's gonna say hello. Hello, okay. Now what I could do is have JP, so I'm gonna go to JP. I could have him say hello, right? I could say, um, when, but when is we gonna do that? That's the tricky part, right? So when I click the flag, it moves and says hello, Jessica does. But when's he gonna say hello? Well, I want him to do it after she's done all this. So what I can do, and I believe it's under, uh, I think it's under events. When I, okay, so you can broadcast a message, okay? So this is really key, broadcast a message. I don't know if this is in the tutorial or not, probably isn't, but I could broadcast a message when this is done. So I could say, I'm moving 25 steps, I'm gonna say hello for two seconds, and then I'm gonna broadcast a message. And you could add to this message, but we'll just call it message one. 
So what's going to happen is this steps are going to take place, then the hello, and then it'll broadcast a message behind the scenes. And what I could do is I could say JP, I could say, all right, when I receive that message, like a secret message. So when I receive message one, now I'm going to say, uh, hello. Okay. I could say, hello. I could say, hello, Jessica. I could say, hello, Jessica. And I, maybe I want to make a sound even. Um, I could do a sound and say, hello, Jessica. And then maybe I could do a, like a little howl sound. Okay. All right. So now when I receive that message, I'm going to say hello to Jessica and play a howl sound, whatever that sound is. All right. So let's look at Jessica's code. Let's look at JP's code. All right. So now I'm going to click on this green flag. <laughs> okay. So JP howled. All right. So I can work on some of the timing because she says hello for two seconds and then broadcast her message. So maybe I just say hello for one second. Let's see how this plays out. Let's move her back. Okay, and now he says hello for a long time too. Maybe we can change that to one second. This is kind of a weird cartoon. Okay, so he's howling at Jessica. Anyway, um, so in your, let's go back to the assignment here. Let me, um, let me flip over to the assignment. Where is the assignment at? Hopefully you can see this. If not, just kind of envision it. Um, you'll need to have multiple characters, okay? So we got lots of characters already there. Um, to change your characters, okay, you can just go down here and delete. You can go down here and say, add a new sprite, choose a new sprite. Um, to add your new characters in and there's all kinds of different characters that you can add. Um, so if you want Abby to join, you can click on Abby. And now Abby is down into our skit, okay? Um, if you wanna change the backdrop, you click over here on the backdrops and you could add new backdrops by doing the same thing, okay? Um, in my assignment, I said I wanted to have three backdrops. Now when you're coding a backdrop, instead of over here where it says code, you're gonna go to backdrops, okay? And then that'll show you the different backdrops that you have and you can change those. I'm sorry, I kind of misspoke there. But when you're coding a backdrop, I'm clicked on the black backdrop, so I am coding the backdrop right here. So play the sound of the back, if you wanted to add a sound to a backdrop. Um, if you wanted to change, like switch to the next backdrop, so that would be something that you would wanna use where you've got one backdrop and then when you receive a message from JP or whatever, um, then switch to the next backdrop. You could have it play sounds, you could have it change colors. There's so many things you could do. Um, so start working on this and then you would save it. So you can see up here where it says join scratch, sign in, and then you can save your project. Um, yeah, so that's it. Anything else we need? You have multiple characters, change the backdrops, speak to each other and move. Your cartoon should tell a story that relates to your schooling from home. It should run automatically from start to finish. Uh, your cartoon should have an end credits. Please submit. Okay. So a little bit of a challenge for you guys. I know this is brand new, um, but I think you guys can handle this. Let me know if you have any questions and I'm here for you. Yay. Make funny cartoons. All right. I can't wait. I can't wait to laugh with the coding cartoons that you make. Yay. Okay. Bye guys. I love you.